first this morning, a look into the team keeping everyone safe and healthy at school. A new House of Health Minute. And the top three things. Turn it up because the Wolfcast starts now. Good morning, Cedar Park, and happy Tuesday. I'm Abby Martinez, and I'm here this morning with Jack Polchik and Katie Wimars. Since coming back to in-person school, Nurse Frost has been trying her best to control the flow of students coming into her clinic each day. To make sure that not only the students are safe, but also everyone within the clinic, Nurse Frost and her assistants created a plan to categorize patients based off of their symptoms. When you walk by the nurse's office, you may notice that there's two different doors to enter through. Junior Ryan Liu, who is a student aide for Nurse Frost, helped create the plan to separate the two sections of the nurse's office into a well visit and a sick visit. If you have injuries or if you have a bloody nose or cramps, uh, we call that a well visit to the nurse. If you are having sick symptoms, then you need to, we call that a sick visit to the nurse. Symptoms like a fever, chills, headache, itchy or sore throat may classify as a sick visit. Due to the continuing caution of COVID-19, Nurse Frost explains how they treat and handle students that could be possibly exposed to an illness. Definitely we want to keep everybody safe this year. And so what we're doing is if you've got like cold symptoms and those kinds of things, we want you to stay home. Um, until you figure that out. The nurse is always a great school resource, so if you're feeling sick while at school, come to her office. Along with Ryan and Nurse Frost, you may also meet her assistant. My name is Alyssa Parker. I am the clinical health aide at Cedar Park High School. I am basically Tara Joe's assistant. I'm helping with um, data entry, helping with the office visits, all that good stuff. If you are feeling sick before you come to school, Nurse Frost strongly suggests not coming to school just in case. But if you happen to be on campus, the two doors to our office are always ready. Coming up, reporter Ross Laskowski for the top three things you need to know for today and a host health minute. But first, these announcements. Thanks you guys. Hello there Cedar Park, I'm Ross Laskowski and here's your top three things you need to know for today. First, Governor Abbott challenges the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA's, COVID-19 vaccine or test mandate in the U.S. Appeals Court yesterday. Texas Governor on Monday, Governor Greg Abbott, filed a petition in the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit challenging the COVID-19 vaccine or test mandate to be imposed by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. The mandate will require companies with at least 100 employees to ensure their workers are vaccinated or undergo weekly testing. Violations of the rules set to start January 4th could be met with steep fines for each occurrence. Next, a Leander Homeowners Association has announced plans to start ticketing speeders. Last month, the Crystal Falls HOA in Leander sent residents a letter announcing it will install a portable camera and radar system to catch speeders. The HOA is considering putting the speed trap on public roads, but for now is limiting it is limiting it to private ones. Homeowners in the HOA caught speeding will be warned once and then fined up to $334 for going over the posted speed limits, even if someone else is behind the wheel of their car. Jamie Leonard, who is a resident, says, quote, I felt blindsided, end quote. This measure was paid for in part by the dues she pays to live in the community. Finally, a Houston doctor has been suspended for spreading dangerous misinformation on COVID-19. A hospital representative for the Houston Methodist Hospital confirmed the suspension of Dr. Mary Talley Bowden to the Washington Post. Houston Methodist says Bowden, who only recently joined staff and says she is vaccinated, is, quote, spreading dangerous misinformation, which is not based in science, end of quote. Bowden tweeted earlier this month that she was shifting focus to treating the unvaccinated due to the current climate and writing on the wall in addition to the promotion of experimental treatments over the FDA-approved coronavirus vaccines. And that's all I have for you today with CPHS News. I'm Ross Leskowski. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Ross. Up next, Hosa is here with some more inf info on how to stay safe and healthy with a new Hosa Health Minute. 
Everybody loves fall for its pumpkins, multicolored leaves, and cool weather. But with that comes mosquitoes. Especially here in Texas, mosquitoes are a huge concern due to the recent resurgence of the West Nile virus. The West Nile virus is the leading cause of mosquito-borne disease in the United States. It is spread by the bite of an infected mosquito and most commonly reported during the summer and fall months. There were over 120 cases of the West Nile virus last year. Effects can range from none to a fever to even death. Those who develop feverish symptoms can develop headaches, body aches, joint pain, vomiting, or di diarrhea, or rashes. These symptoms can last for up to weeks or months. Those who develop serious symptoms can develop high fever, headache, neck stiffness, stupor, disorientation, coma, tremors, convulsions, muscle weakness, vision loss, numbness, and paralysis. There are some ways to prevent the West Nile virus and annoying mosquito bites in general, including using insect repellent, wearing clothes that cover arms and legs, and controlling mosquitoes indoors and outdoors. For a happy, healthy Cedar Park with your Hosa Minute for today, I'm Harshinia the Pulley. Thanks, Hosa. That's all we have for today. Make sure to keep it up with all of our content. So head over to our YouTube at CPHS News. You can also follow at CPHS underscore sports for updates during the games. More on Thursday. To prepare for the holidays, some info on Thanksgiving food banks, see how our CPHS band saxophone players are traveling all the way to Seattle, and we bring, we bring back Cooking with Claire, but this time it's Ethan Hexter. Thanks for taking time to join us this morning. With CPHS News, I'm Katie Whitmarsh. I'm Jack Paulshuk. And I'm Abby Martinez. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.